blessed evening each and everyone. Once again, uh, let us spend time in listening to the message of the Word of God right now. Our scripture will be taken in the book of Matthew chapter 19 starting from verse 21 up to verse 22. It says here, And Jesus said to the rich young man, If you want to be perfect, go and sell what you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Verse 22 it says, When the rich young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful because he had great possessions. Amen. The Lord God will just bless his holy word. Amen. My dear beloved brethren in the Lord, in this story of this rich young man, he has the desire to have eternal life, but in the wrong way, not in line with what God said. Amen. In verse 16, this rich young man came to the Lord Jesus and said, Good teacher, what good thing I have to do that I may have eternal life? And then the Lord Jesus said to him, Why, why call me good? There is only one good, and that is God. But if you want to have eternal life, Obey the commandments. So, God gave him, the only requirement is obedience to the commandment of God. Amen. And so, the rich young man said, which one? And then Jesus said to him, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, Honor your father and your mother, and love your neighbors as you love yourself. So, those are the six commandments that Jesus gave to this rich young man. Amen. And we all know that in the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 20, there are ten commandments that God is given to his people through the life of Moses. The first four uh, uh, commandments that is our responsibility to God. Those are, you, don't, you have no any other gods before me. You shall not worship them. And then the third one is, you shall not use the name of the Lord God in vain. And the fourth is, you have to sanctify the, the, the Sabbath day. Amen. So the rest, the six commandments, our responsibility is to our, to other people. Amen. So these are the commandments that Jesus is giving to this rich young man. His responsibility to others. Amen. So when Jesus told him the commandments, thou shalt not murder, he shall not commit adultery, and so on and so forth. Then the rich young man said, All these things I already did, I already did this one since I was I, I am young, he said. He said, What other things I lack? And so Jesus said in our text that we are reading, If you want to be perfect, so Jesus um said to him if he already done all these things that Jesus had told him amen so there is only one thing that is needed for him to be perfect to have eternal life and this um, and so Jesus told him go sell all, everything that you have and give it to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven, and then come and follow me. So these are the, the things that Jesus wants that this young man will do. To sell all what he has and give it to the poor. And he will have treasure in heaven. In which the rich young man never understand. 
Amen. What he has in his mind is eternal life or righteousness can be gained through good works. Amen. That is what he's thinking. But the Lord Jesus wants to correct his misunderstanding on the means to have righteousness and eternal life. Amen. And so, in this, in this, in this um, young rich man, we also notice that he has that great, he, his main problem was um, those possessions that he has. Amen. The great possession that he had. Amen. And he cannot surrender it. He cannot sell it and impart or give to the poor that are in need. That even Jesus told him that he will have treasure in heaven. That's the, that's the answer of what he desires to have eternal life. But the problem is, he never understand. His main problem really is that covetousness in his heart. Have you noticed, beloved, that all those six commandments that Jesus told him with regards to his responsibility to other people? In, in, in the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 20, the last commandment, was thou shalt not covet here in this verse jesus omitted this commandment and he changed it to love your neighbor as you love yourself because covetousness is the main problem of, of this rich young man he cannot give up he cannot surrender the wealth that he has in exchange of God's promise of wealth in heaven, treasures that God will give to him. Amen. He cannot, he cannot surrender everything that he has. Although he desires to have eternal life, but in his own thinking, not in line with what God said. Amen. He has his own thinking that salvation, righteousness, eternal life can be paid or it can be attained by good works. Amen. But it's not. We are always taught by the word of God in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. That salvation is a free gift from God. It is not a work lest any man should boast. We can, we can have it through our faith in God. Amen. Faith in God. But in the life of this rich young man, his understanding was through good works. Amen. So, his response to, to Jesus' statement, he walked out, he went away sorrowful because he cannot surrender everything that he had. This is the only one thing he needs for him to be perfect and to him to have eternal life. Amen. He cannot give up everything in exchange of God's wealth that God promised that once he sold all the things that he has and gave it to the poor, he will have treasure in heaven and he will come and follow the Lord. He cannot surrender everything. This is, the, this is the main problem of the rich young man. His, his, his covetousness, amen. His greediness, amen. He cannot give, give up everything in exchange of eternal life, amen. So that is why Jesus said in the following verse, verse 23, he said to his disciples, how hard it is to a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And it is possible, it is good for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle than to a rich man to enter heaven. Amen. So, here 
beloved brethren in the Lord. This, this is the thing that I'm going to leave to you. That eternal life, salvation, righteousness from God could not be acquired. We cannot acquire it. We cannot attain it through good works. But it's only through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And for us to have it, we have to surrender ourselves to God. Humble ourselves to God and believe in Him. For us to be perfect, for us to receive that eternal life, for us to be saved and have that salvation, that eternal life from God. Then, those good works will just follow. After we have been saved, after we have that eternal life, good works will follow. Amen. That is the word of God. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father, we thank you so much for your word that you have given to us. That once again, you, may, you gave us a clear understanding, Lord, that it's not that salvation and eternal life cannot be attained through good works. In the eyes of God, we don't, we don't expect any merit as we do these things. Because our salvation and eternal life can only be gained through faith in you, Lord God. And thank you, Father God, for teaching us, Lord, that the true riches that we will attain once we are willing to surrender everything to you, you will give us the true riches from heaven. As we are willing to trade in, to give up our very own possessions in exchange for the true wealth that you will give to us. We are blessed. Thank you, Father. Bless each and everyone that are watching right now. Touch them, protect them, bless them. I commit to you the, these precious lives. Yes, Lord, and continue to teach them your word. We thank you, Father God, for you are so good enough for us. All these things we ask in your name and in the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, beloved brethren in the Lord, uh, if you are still new in this channel, don't forget to share it to others. And also, don't forget to subscribe, to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for you to be always updated with our next video. Thank you for watching. God bless you always. Amen and amen.